In recent years, geopolitical tensions in the Pacific Ocean have been rising. China, one of the region's leading actors, is seeking to increase its influence from the South China Sea to the Western and Central Pacific, thanks to its growing navy and submarine fleet. This situation poses a serious security concern for the region's allies, particularly Australia, with the United States at the forefront. Australia has long been a supporter of Pacific stability, and within the framework of its close alliance with the United States, has assumed the role of a regional balancing power. Now, the Canberra administration has opened a new chapter by developing artificial intelligence-enabled submarines to monitor China's underwater activities and deter them if necessary. This move is being carried out in parallel with Australia's AUKUS agreement and other defense cooperation plans. We will now examine Australia's submarine move in the context of the changing power balance in the Pacific, followed by the measures taken by other countries and powers in the region. The final section will cover Australia's additional steps in the naval field and projections for the future of the region. First section is Australia's AI-powered submarine a game changer. In recent days, the Australian press and international news agencies have brought a new system to the fore with revolutionary statements about Australia's underwater capabilities. This system is described as an initiative that combines artificial intelligence technology with both manned and unmanned autonomous submarines, aiming to gain superiority over the Chinese Navy in underwater surveillance and target detection. Equipped with advanced sensors, machine learning algorithms, and autonomous navigation capabilities, these AI-supported submarines offer an advanced concept for detecting Chinese submarines. Let's take a look at how the AI system came about. Australia had begun plans to acquire nuclear-powered submarines with the AUKUS Security Pact signed with the US and the UK. However, alongside this, the idea of developing AI-based underwater systems within the defense industry also matured. According to some reports, the Australian Department of Defense is collaborating with local research institutions and international technology companies to carry out projects on underwater unmanned vehicles, UUVs, and semi-autonomous submarine platforms. The main objective of these projects is to monitor the maneuvers of the Chinese Navy in the Pacific more closely. Traditional submarines require personnel, are risky, and although they can infiltrate operational areas silently, they are costly and limited in number. AI-supported submarines, on the other hand, can carry out long-term patrols unmanned, make quick decisions through data analysis, and conduct low-risk surveillance missions. So. What are the technical specifications and autonomy level of these AI-powered submarines developed by Australia? According to information published in the press, Australia's prototype AI submarine can instantly map underwater terrain and plan routes using artificial intelligence software. These submarines also contain sensors such as sonar, magnetic anomaly detectors, and hydrophone arrays. They have machine learning optimized data processing capabilities to detect acoustic signatures from Chinese nuclear submarines. The command and control infrastructure of these submarines is also quite robust. Australia's AI-powered submarine can exchange data with human operators via satellite or underwater acoustic communication, but it can perform many tasks independently. It is claimed that the submarine can analyze and classify acoustic data up to 40 times faster than human operators. Designed to be deployed in large fleets to provide wide-ranging ocean surveillance through underwater sensor constellations, these unmanned submarines can undertake endurance missions lasting up to three months and will be mass-produced. Low-noise propulsion technology is another feature mentioned. The quiet operation of underwater vehicles makes them harder to detect. The AI submarine is likely to feature a design aimed at minimizing its acoustic signature. While the project's name is not explicitly mentioned in official statements, some sources refer to it as Sea Ghost or Blue Guardian. Prototype testing began in early 2025, with trials reportedly conducted off Australia's northern coast and around the Great Barrier Reef. The system was unveiled last weekend at the Royal Navy base in Portsmouth in front of Royal Navy Fleet Commander 
Vice Admiral Andrew Burns, officials, and industry representatives, but the exact details of the event have not yet been disclosed. Last year, Western Australia-based Blue Ocean Marine Tech Systems partnered with European defense technology company Helsing to develop the SG on Fathom Glider, which features acoustic sensors and an advanced software platform and artificial intelligence system known as Lura. Mike Deeks, managing director of Blue Ocean Group and a former Royal Australian Navy officer, stated that one of the key factors in the design of the new platform was keeping the unit cost low to enable mass production and rapid deployment. Australian Helsing executive Rob Wilson claims that unmanned technology can improve the performance of existing traditional naval platforms by providing scale and durability at a fraction of the cost of traditional anti-submarine warfare. Representatives from the Australian Royal Navy recently received a briefing on the full capabilities of the SG-1 Fathom and Lura systems. Meanwhile, the Australian Defence Force has been testing larger autonomous naval platforms in exercises off the coast for several years, but the manufacturers of the SG-1 Fathom hope that their technology will eventually be adopted by all three AUKUS partners. With all these efforts, Australia's AI-powered underwater monsters are poised to make a big difference in the Pacific. Traditionally, Australia has relied on P-8A Poseidon Patrol aircraft, surface ships, and nuclear-powered submarines from its allies to detect the Chinese Navy. However, Chinese submarines are enhancing their ability to infiltrate Australian waters with increasingly advanced silent engines and advanced sonar countermeasures. AI submarines could provide Australia with an advantage in this underwater cat-and-mouse game. Their ability to process sensor data in real time and detect anomalies could enable faster reactions than human operators. Australia appears determined to prevent China from gaining dominance in the Pacific. AI-powered submarines are the latest step toward this goal. AUKUS has made this possible. The AUKUS Agreement is a strategic pact that paves the way for Australia to acquire nuclear-powered submarines. Australia has no immediate plans to acquire nuclear weapons, but nuclear-powered submarines offer longer patrols, quieter operation, and greater deterrence. The US and the UK will provide Australia with technology transfer and training support. This could enable the Royal Australian Navy to transition from a regional power to a serious ocean power. AI-based projects could also be integrated with these nuclear submarines. Of course, the Canberra government is not limiting itself to these AI-enabled submarines in its efforts to contain Beijing's naval buildup. Australia has been modernizing its surface fleet with the Hunter-class frigate and Hobart-class destroyer projects in recent years. Equipped with next-generation radar, air defense, and guided missile capabilities, these ships are designed to create collective deterrence against the Chinese Navy's plans to dominate the region. Australia is also developing sonar and helicopter platforms to enhance its anti-submarine warfare capabilities. Canberra is also strong in air defense and strike weapons. There have also been reports that Australia plans to procure Tomahawk cruise missiles from the US. These missiles are long-range, precision-guided weapons that can be launched from ships or submarines. Tomahawks could serve as a deterrent against Chinese bases or ships in the Pacific. In fact, there were reports that Australia had tested such missiles by the end of 2024. An Australian warship had launched a Tomahawk cruise missile during the aforementioned testing process. HMIS Brisbane, one of three Hobart-class destroyers belonging to the Royal Australian Navy, successfully tested a Tomahawk cruise missile capable of hitting land targets 1,000 miles away during a test and evaluation activity off the U.S. West Coast. Photos shared by the Australian military showed the Brisbane firing the missile off the coast of San Diego, California, with the missile hitting its target and exploding. This marked a turning point for Australia, making it one of three countries, alongside the United States and the United Kingdom, to acquire and fire the U.S.-made missile.
According to the Australian military, it will acquire over 200 Tomahawk missiles. In addition to arming its Hobart-class destroyers, the missiles will also be installed on future Virginia-class nuclear-powered submarines when they are delivered by the U.S. under the AUKUS agreement. By combining these Tomahawk missiles with its artificial intelligence-enabled submarines, Australia will significantly enhance its naval capabilities. Japan will also acquire these missiles alongside Australia. Japan, another security agreement ally of the US in the region, has announced that it will acquire approximately 400 Tomahawk missiles to strengthen its defense capabilities in order to disperse and defeat invading forces targeting the country early and from a distance. Japan considers China's increasing submarine and surface ship activities to be the greatest threat to its national security. Tokyo has invested in projects such as the Mogami-class frigates, Soryu, Taigei-class submarines, and Zumo-class helicopter carriers converted into aircraft carriers in recent years. The Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force, JMSDF, has also strengthened its anti-submarine warfare capabilities with P-1 patrol aircraft. Japan is also working closely with the U.S. on maritime surveillance sharing. As you can see, Japan is one of the countries taking action against the growing Chinese threat, just like Australia. Another actor sounding the alarm against China is South Korea. While expanding its underwater power with KSS-3-class submarine projects, South Korea is also trying to implement a strategy of closing space against China's expansion with new Aegis destroyers of the Sejong, uh, the Great Class, in its surface fleet. The South Korean Navy is conducting intelligence monitoring of Chinese naval maneuvers in joint exercises with Japan and the U.S. The U.S., as a supporter of both South Korea and Japan, is also making significant efforts to remind the world of its presence. The U.S. is the power with the largest naval presence in the Pacific. The 7th Fleet, based in Yokosuka, Japan, patrols with aircraft carriers, nuclear submarines, and numerous destroyers and frigates. The U.S. is competing with China over its militarization of the South China Sea and infrastructure projects on Pacific Islands. Other countries in the region are also on constant alert against China, just like the U.S. One of these is the Philippines. The Manila government is developing defense cooperation with powers such as the U.S. and Japan due to its dispute with China in the South China Sea. On the other hand, there is Vietnam. Historically, Vietnam has had disputes with China over maritime borders and is trying to increase its deterrence with submarines and modern frigates purchased from Russia. Indonesia is not in direct conflict with China, but there is potential for tension around the Natuna Islands. Naval modernization is accelerating to some extent. All of these countries are developing collective or bilateral security cooperation to counter China's growing naval power. Australia's AI submarine could also contribute technologically to this cooperation. Canberra's AI move has already caused a stir in the Beijing media, raising the possibility that it could prompt other actors in the Pacific to take action. Chinese media sources describe Australia's AI-powered submarine news as provocative steps that increase the risk of conflict in the Pacific. State media criticizes Australia for becoming a puppet of the U.S. and straining peaceful relations with China. Beijing has also declared the AUKUS agreement a threat that could pave the way for the proliferation of nuclear weapons. It appears that Australia's move to strengthen its naval forces with AI-powered submarines has already inflamed some parties. The Chinese Navy is increasing its exercises in the Pacific and showing a tendency to increase its presence in areas close to the Australian coast. Some reports claim that China has expanded its patrol activities near Australia with its UN-class diesel electric submarines and Type 0093B nuclear attack submarines. The scenarios for the future are not very bright. Beijing may deepen its artificial intelligence-enabled submarine projects as a countermeasure to the military technological steps taken by the U.S. and its allies. In the political arena, China-Australia relations were already fragile on issues such as economic and trade sanctions and diplomatic tensions. 
Australia's latest move could further cool relations. So why did China react so strongly to Australia's AI-supported submarine? What really angered Beijing? Underwater warfare is the most secretive and complex type of military operation. Traditionally, submarines use passive and active sonar to track enemy movements, and the experience of human operators is critical in target detection. China has long boasted of being the Pacific's most powerful naval force with its nuclear submarines and other naval assets. However, Australia's latest move could knock China off its throne. This entirely depends on how AI will function on Australia's submarines. AI compares real-time acoustic signatures with big data analysis, detects deviations from normal background noise much faster, performs real-time route optimization, and reduces the margin of error in enemy detection and evasion processes. During long-term patrols, AI operates independently of human fatigue or morale factors. All of this represents a significant advantage in patrol missions that scan the region, such as those conducted by Australia. The ability to operate submarines for weeks at sea without a human crew could unsettle the Chinese Navy. Of course, the question arises whether AI will be able to make decisions about an attack or opening fire on its own. From an ethical and legal standpoint, the debate over lethal autonomous weapon systems is ongoing. The Australian Department of Defense says that lethal force will not be used without human oversight. So, AI submarines may be autonomous in functions such as gathering intelligence and marking targets, but the final decision to attack will be made by human commanders. Still, these systems are creating a new concept of underwater patrols. Australia's naval and AI initiatives are also linked to initiatives such as the Quad. Although India operates on a different scale in the maritime domain, the US-Japan-Australia cooperation in the Pacific is balancing China's moves. South Korea, as a close ally of the US, also participates in this framework when necessary. These regional partnerships, such as the Quad Quad Plus India, aim to collectively counter China's maritime expansion. The presence of so many players in the region and their growing strength each day significantly increases the likelihood of a regional crisis. Some experts describe the Pacific as the most potential conflict zone of the 21st century. When compared to the Middle East, there is a shift in economic weight toward Asia-Pacific and the reality that China is emerging as a superpower. The U.S. is focusing on this region with its Indo-Pacific strategy. Australia is positioned as the West's forward outpost. The artificial intelligence submarine project is seen as part of this bigger picture. By developing AI-powered submarine systems, Australia has proven that it has taken an important step toward countering the Chinese Navy's efforts to dominate the Pacific. On the other hand, nuclear submarines are also on the horizon with the AUKUS agreement. These two initiatives could elevate the capabilities of the Royal Australian Navy to a new level, enabling surveillance and deterrence across much broader maritime areas. In this context, Australia's AI-powered submarine project signals a major strategic shift. It is argued that underwater competition in the Pacific will intensify with AI versus AI moves even possible. Although the project is still in its early stages in Australia, with prototype tests ongoing, it could put serious pressure on the Chinese Navy if it enters service in the coming years. Ultimately, Australia is becoming a more active regional power with each passing day. The game underwater is much more secretive, but equally critical than the projection of power on the surface. The advent of AI-powered submarines signals a new era in the Pacific. During this period, all regional navies, led by China and Australia, could accelerate the technological race. The undetectability of underwater platforms could suddenly become a weak link. Australia, with its latest move, aims to turn this situation to its advantage by leveraging AI. Thus, the Pacific waters could emerge as the new geopolitical front after the Middle East, becoming the hottest stage of global power competition. Can joint naval exercises by the US, Japan, South Korea, and Australia, using AI-based underwater tracking,
push back the Chinese Navy, or will Beijing respond with more advanced counter technologies? That is the question at hand. For Australia's move has already made headlines and claims that an AI supported submarine era is about to begin in the region are spreading. Thank you for watching.